Great folks. Today we're going to look at the unit four, analyze craft and structure, poetry collection, some figurative language definitions. So poets use uh, figurative language and other devices to break through the usual ways of seeing and describing the world. In uh, Chicago and Wilderness, uh, Sandberg's notable devices include imagery, repetition, and personification. Imagery is a descriptive of or figurative language that appeals to the senses of sight, hearing, touch, taste, or smell. For example, the line white petals on a rain wet branch is a concrete visual image. Repetition of words and phrases emphasizes important ideas, adds emotional intensity, and creates a musical quality. In Wilderness, six of the seven lines begin with there is a dot dot in me. Personification is a figure of speech in which a non-human subject is given human qualities. In Chicago, the city is personified as a strong young man. In wilderness, personification takes a different form. In a reversal of the usual pattern, human attributes and emotions are given uh, animal qualities. So the other two is onomatopoeia that he uses. It's the use of words that imitate sounds. We studied this before. And alliteration is the repetition of initial consonant sounds to achieve an effect. So we'll look at some examples. <clears throat> so we have imagery, personification, and repetition. So have a look at this poem and answer, uh, we'll answer the questions. Pants shopping on the avenue. So stop the video and uh, read it. So what does the question uh, ask? Identify at least two images, example of repetition, an example of personification, one, two, three. So images is boy trying on pants, pants sagging. So these are the uh, two images that we can find. Example of repetition, don't worry, you look. So these are repeated. And personification, you think these pants are fierce. So giving uh, a human uh, quality to the pants. And doubts on prole. So have a look at this uh, poem. So two images, examples of repetition and examples of personification. So images is bed shaking, getting face slapped. Using five senses, the uh, poet tries to explain and we can visualize it. Repetition, it's time. So it starts one, look, these lines, it's time to get dubious, time to get to work, it's time for some uncertainty. And personification, doubt sneaking, doubt slapping, doubt telling the narrator to wake up. So again, it gives human quality uh, to the doubt. So I hope uh, you got the information and you can uh, submit your worksheet on Pearson. Thank you. Bye-bye.